Well, keeping with utilities, this upcoming year is going to be a busy one for the Guam Waterworks Authority. Consolidated Commission on Utilities Chair Sanchez says on top of trying to figure out how to reduce its dependency on purchasing water from the Navy, GWA must also go back to the bond market and work on its five-year plan to upgrade its infrastructure. Sanchez says rate increases are also a possibility with the military buildup. GWA now is trying to figure out exactly how we can avoid these rate adjustments. Um, and we also need to recognize, though, that the system still needs investment. We still have lots of leaks to repair. There's still parts of the court order that haven't been performed. And to make the system perform better in order to save money in the future, we're going to have to invest some money in capital improvements. Last year, GWA absorbed much of the 50% increase in costs in buying from the Navy, but also reduced its dependency on the Fenner Reservoir from 15 thousand gallons down to 9,000 gallons, uh, 900 gallons that is. However, absorbing those costs also delayed many of its capital improvement projects needed to prepare for this military buildup.